Another? A rum flip this time. And where'd I find fresh eggs in this wretched town? There's little else but piss and insects. Aye, we're working on that. Mm -hmm. Dear lady, what do they call you? And when mm. they're sober, a jilt when they're sauced. But never, lady. Oh, <laughs> well, good Leanne. I, I, uh, oh, no. Oh, oh. Back of sight. Do you hear me? It's a back of bloody sight. It's a ruse to keep us off before they attack Nassau. You'll see, mark me. It's no ruse, Vane. I heard it straight from the mouth of a greasy Bermudan captain. There's a pardon on offer for any pirate that wants it. Ruse or no, I think it's plain the British may return to Nassau with arms, no doubt. We'll need a plan. Walk with us, can we? There's trouble brewing. In the absence of any clear ideas, I say we lay low. No piracies and no violence. Do nothing to ruffle the king's feathers for now. Preserving the king's plumage is no concern of mine, Ben. It will be when he sends his soldiers to scrub this island clean of our residue. Look around you, man. Is this cesspool worth dying for? Aye! It's our republic! Our idea! A free land for free men, remember? So maybe it's filthy to look at. But ain't it still an idea worth fighting for? I can't be sure. But when I look on the fruits of our years of labor, all I see is sickness, idleness, worried, idiocy. Over. Not a sunbeam of difference between here striking. and London, then, eh? Thatch is right, man. Taking a wide view, they're not doing so bad out here. The sun, rum, and leisure as far as the eye can see. Aye. Nassau may look fine from a distance, but at its core, there's a disease I cannot stomach. Sickness can be cured, Ben. If only you have the right medicine. But a corpse cannot be reanimated. I can't believe the shite I'm hearing drop from your lips. Why not take the pardon now and be done with it? Peace, both of you. We can satisfy both aims if we work together. Find medicines to ease our burdens here, but in a way that don't attract the British. I wager the nearest doctor is sitting pretty in Havana. Not a place I mean to go. But the Spanish fleet that sunk two Bernie years back would have some medicine. Get you gone. All sealed up in glass vials. You'd need a diving bell to reach those depths. Aye, and with some coin and a few supplies, a diving bell won't be hard to come by. This is a plan I can stand behind. Find medicines without stirring up trouble. Agreed, Thatch? Agreed. Aye. I'll meet you near the wrecks as soon as you're able, Kenway. Remember, Thatch, keep your cannons court. Piss off, Ben. Do you require my services?
Devil in his hole, Thatch. This is a darling galley. 32 guns, is it? I lost count at 40. You've stepped up a rung. So, any luck finding medicines here? Nothing round this spot, sadly. But there's a few wrecks yonder that ain't been scoured by nothing but crabs and coral. I'll have a look. Edward? Edward, is that you? My goodness, the West Indies is a compact place. Hello, Bonnet. A surprise seeing you out here? I met Mr. Thatcher a month or so ago, and he offered to take me under his yard arms, so to speak. Says I must wash the hayseed from my hair before I'm a true pirate. Well, good luck to you then. Worst men have become better under Blackbeard's watch.
Ahoy! Any luck? I found one crate hidden beneath a school of sharks. Sadly, the elixir inside is... quite spoilt. Plague and perish. Will we steal medicines now? Remember the pardon, Thatch. We're to be subtle. Says Ornigold, a pirate, now too proud to call himself one. He prefers caution to cannons. Caution's nothing without charisma. If a man plays the fool, then it's only fools he'll persuade, but appear to be the devil. And all men will submit. And would you be the devil? Find a quiet way to acquire medicines. Tell me soon. Otherwise, my land let me south. <laughs> <laughs> 